press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, in the last class we finish up limits concept, correct, finish up limits concept. Today on Mars we discuss derivatives, this is a very important uh, topic for both first POC and second POC. So very important point is if you perfect about limit, limit concept then it is very easy derivative ok. So derivative means what? Before that one more word differentiation if anybody asks differentiation means what? Differentiation means the process of finding the process of finding derivatives derivatives of a function the process of finding the process of finding what derivatives of a function is called or else is known as differentiation this is very important differentiation if anybody asks differentiation means what we will see in the simple manner okay differentiation means what the process of finding the process of finding derivatives of a function derivatives of a function is known as what differentiation then derivative means what yes now derivative means what so i define in a simple manner okay so let uh, y is equal to e of of x a real function real value function y is equal to e of of x it's a real valid function real valid function means x and y are belongs to the real number the function must be belongs to the real numbers okay y is equal to f of x a real function derivative means then limit h tends to 0 if you take h or any other word okay no problem limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h limit observe here limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if this limit exists if this limit exists is called if if this limit if this limit exists if this limit exists is called is called derivative derivative of a function is called derivative of a function if this limit exists limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if this limit exists is called derivative of a function is denoted very important is denoted by f dash of x or dy by dx etc some more we use we will see the later simply just f dash of x if this limit limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if this limit exists very important is called derivative of a function is denoted by f dash of x that is that is right here f dash of x is equal to limit h 
tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. This we call it as derivative of a function. This we call it as what? Derivative of a function with respect to x. Derivative of a function with respect to x. Differentiation means the process of finding, very important, the process of finding derivative of a function. Derivative means very simple definition, y is equal to f of x, a real function. Limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. If this limit exists, if this limit exists, is called derivative of a function. It is denoted by f dash of x or dy by dx. One more dy by dx. What is the geometrical meaning? Simple geometrical meaning. You all know in the physics, simple geometry mean dy by dx means rate of change of y with respect to x. The geometrical meaning of derivative. If anybody asks the geometrical meaning of derivative, rate of change of y with respect to x. So, you see in the velocity physics, velocity is equal to ds by dt. Correct. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement with respect to time t. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement with respect to time t. So, f dash of x or dy over dx both are same notations. So, f dash of x is nothing but limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So, d, the geometrical meaning of derivative dy by dx rate of change of y with respect to x. Rate of change of y with respect to x. I think you are not properly understand. Just simple definition. We will see by seeing one example better. Then you are properly understand. Okay. So, derivative means limit h tends to 0. Simple definition. Limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So, one example, y is equal to just x square, y is equal to x square. That, that, that is, f of x is equal to what? x square. Find the derivative, find the derivative of x square find the derivative of x square. That means we have to find out f dash of x with are saying or rate of change of y with respect to x. If anybody asks what is the geometrical meaning of derivative? Rate of change of y with respect to x. So we know that derivative definition f dash of x, f dash of x is what? Limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. That means f of x is what? If this limit exists, if this limit exists, that we call it as derivative of the given function. Since, since f of x is x square, f of x plus h x plus h whole square. Correct. f of x is x square. f of x plus h, x plus h whole square. That implies f dash of x is equal to limit. We substitute all the values. h tends to 0. Limit h tends to 0. x plus h whole square in place of f of x plus h. Minus. Minus x square divided by h. You know how to solve this one. Firstly, we substitute wherever h, substitute 0. x plus 0 means x square minus x square divided by 0. Wherever h, substitute 0. Cancel. 0 by 0 indeterminate form. Indeterminate form. Then 
we have to find out we have to find out the limit by using factorization or by using x to limit x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a n into a power n minus 1 for that so we write once again limit h tends to 0 you know how to solve this one all day i discuss two or three problems correct divided by h for this what i do i add plus x minus x plus x minus x put x plus h is equal to t when h tends to 0 t tends to what x that is equal to limit t tends to x t square minus x square divided by what t minus x correct t tends to x t square minus x square divided by what t minus x since limit you know theorem 1 x to the power n minus a power n divided by x minus a n into a power n minus 1 n into a power n minus 1 that, that is equal to that is equal to in the place of a it is x in the place of n it is 2 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1 2 x so we got the limit value of the given function we got the limit value of the given function the limit value of the given function is 2x correct means derivative of x square what we see in the definition if this limit exists and that limit we call it as a derivative of the given function so the limit of x plus h whole square minus x square divided by h is 2x correct the limit h tends to 0 x plus h whole square minus x square divided by h is 2x this we call it as derivative of x square this is the method this is the definition this means that implies the derivative derivative of x square is 2x the derivative of x square the derivative of x square is 2x that is if y is equal to x square y is equal to x square dy by dx another notation just now I write dy by dx is equal to what 2x dy by dx is nothing but derivative of y with respect to x geometrical meaning rate of change of y with respect to x if y is equal to x square if y is equal to x square dy by dx is 2x okay derivative of y with respect to x is 2x so once again I say that derivative means if y is equal to f of x then limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if this limit exist if this limit exist is called derivative of the function derivative of the function it is denoted by it is denoted by f dash of x or dy by dx if anybody asks differentiation means what differentiation means the process this is the process what we follow from up to this up to this what we follow the process of finding the process of finding what derivative of a function the process of finding what derivative of a function is known as differentiation the process of finding the derivative of a function the process of finding derivative of a function is known as is known as what differentiation so once again I write I think you understand very properly in the beginning I say if you know limit very well then derivative is very easy 
because we have to find out the limit value for each functions that is very important that's why perfect the limit concept then only it is very easy derivatives once again i write the definition let y is equal to f of x a real valued function simple definition okay for understanding very simple let y is equal to f of x real valued function then 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 limit h tends to zero sir only h we take no problem if you take any other variable also why i use h because in your test book they use h that's why i take h h tends to zero f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h if this limit exist is called derivative of the g1 function derivative of the g1 function and denoted by denoted by f dash of x okay r dy by dx dy by dx r d by dx of f of x all notations are same just simply y this also same or else d by dx of y etc okay all these are all the notations for the derivative of the function so then the process the process of finding the derivative derivative of a function the process of finding the derivative of a function is known as very important differentiation the process of finding the process of finding what the derivative of a function is known as differentiation and that means all right here one more concept that is all right here that is f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h this method particular word is there is known as is known as observe here first principal method what we follow this method f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is known as very important very important first principal method in the examination for three mark one question very important question find the derivative using first principle method so first principle method is f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h what we follow by seeing the example x square then we follow after that after that uh, after finding the limit we got dy by dx is 2x 
this process what we follow in the previous example this process we call it as first principle method this process the process of finding the derivative by using f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is called is called first principle method okay first principle method i think you clear about the derivative just i explain only the definition so derivative means limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h okay if this limit exists that we call it as derivative one more word first principle method differentiation means differentiation means the process of finding the process of finding what the derivative of a function is known as differentiation so you see in the geometrical meaning of derivative just one line i explained okay it is a lengthy topic simple line so what we see in the physics velocity rate of change of displacement ds by dt acceleration dv by dt correct correct dv by dt or uh, d square s by dt square these are all the geometrical rate of change of displacement with respect to time t this is what the geometrical meaning of derivative geometrical meaning of derivative means if dy by dx if i write like this dy by dx dy by dx rate of change of y rate of change of y with respect to x rate of change of y with respect to x simply that we call it as geometrical meaning of derivative we will see later okay by seeing one example i explain detailed about the geometrical meaning of derivative now what we do we solve some formulas or else some problems finding the derivatives using first principle method because in the examination one question is very important for three mark find the derivative using first principle method okay so now what we do we solve or else we find some derivatives some derivatives of the functions those are all formulas okay these are all formulas using first principle method we will see one by one why we call it as formulas okay then we will see later one by one we take So I write the headline, first principle method, I write the headline, first principle method, one, one by one function I take, the first function, first one, first formula, f of x is equal to x to the power n just now we discuss f of x is equal to x square derivative of x square is 2x correct so if i want x cube we don't know if i want x to the power 5 we don't know if i want x to the power 10 we don't know that's why we solve the general x to the power n okay after that it is very easy to find the derivatives of x cube x to the power 5 x to the power 10 x to the power 100 like that okay so we find the derivative of x to the power n using first principle method okay see observe here so for that i want x plus h x plus h whole to the power n correct x plus h whole to the power n correct okay then 
we know that first principle formula dy by dx if you write dy by dx or f dash of x both are same okay if i write dy by dx okay derivative of y with respect to f dash of x derivative of y with respect to x so limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h limit x h tends to 0 limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h what we follow in x square same method i follow so what we do substitute all the values that is equal to limit h tends to 0 h tends to 0 x plus h whole to the power n minus x to the power n divided by h correct observe here x plus h whole to the power n correct x plus h whole to the power n minus x to the power n divided by h divided by h this is the first step next step what we do wherever h not x because h tends to substitute 0 this is the first step x plus 0 whole to the power n minus x to the power n divided by 0 x to the power n minus x to the power n divided by 0 indeterminate form okay what we discussed in the previous classes the limit concept same concept i use here okay that's why the limit concept is a very very important concept okay so x to the power n x to the power n get cancelled 0 by 0 what indeterminate form indeterminate form then next what we do we factorize or else we use the theorem one to find the limit value for that so that is equal to that is right here that is equal to limit tends to zero x plus h all to the power n minus x to the power n divided by h is there plus x minus x plus x then minus x same procedure what i follow in x square same procedure so we solve by substitution method put x plus h t put x plus h is equal to what t when when you know this one this concept you know in the limit when h tends to 0 t tends to x plus 0 that means t tends to what x h tends to 0 t tends to x plus 0 that means t tends to x that is equal to limit t tends to x t tends to x t to the power n minus x to the power n divided by t minus x correct t to the power n minus x to the power n divided by what t minus x okay see this result since limit x tends to a x to the power n minus a to the power n divided by x minus a you know the theorem 1 n into a to the power n minus 1 n into a to the power n minus 1 observe these two result very important observe these two result in the place of n n in the place of x it is sorry the place of a it is x n into a to the power n minus 1 that implies n into in the place of a it is x x to the power n minus 1 this result is what limit value if this this we call it as 
f dash of x n into x to the power n minus 1 very important formula n into x to the power n minus 1 that means that means this method we call it as this method we call it as what first principle method observe this one very carefully that is right here that is if first formula y is equal to x to the power n very important y is equal to x to the power n dy by dx or else f dash of x if i use y i write dy by dx if i use f of x then i write f dash of x remember very important i use here y that's why i write dy by dx if suppose i use f of x then i write f dash of x dy by dx what n into x to the power n minus 1 first formula derivative of you practice very well derivative of derivative of x to the power n derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1 n into x to the power n minus 1 this process what we follow we call it as what first principle right here first principle method first principle method what we follow here to find the derivative of what x to the power n what we follow this method we call it as first principle method so first formula derivative of x to the power n you practice it okay if anybody asks so very important derivative of x to the power n n into x to the power n minus 1 n into x to the power n minus 1. So, this is a general formula. So, why it is general formula? Suppose I want, I want. Just now, the first example, we take x square. Okay. We already find out, derivative of x square is 2x. Same method, if y is equal to x square, dy by dx, dy by dx, in the place of n it is 2, 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1, 2x. So, which method we follow? It is very, very important. No obligatory. No obligatory. See, observe here. If suppose he asks, find the derivative using first principle means we follow this method. We follow this method. Limit h tends to 0, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Clear? So, if suppose he asks find the derivative of the given function, any function, by using first principle means we refer to this method only. Simply he asks find the derivative of x square, then we use this formula. We already find out. Just simply he asks find derivative of x square. We use this formula. Derivative of x to the power n. That is why I call it as this formula. Understand? So, derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1. Similarly, derivative of x square is 2 into x to the power 2 minus 1, 2x. Similarly, one more example I take. Find the derivative of, find the derivative of x cube. Y is equal to x cube. Derivative of x cube. Or else differentiate with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x. Differentiation means the process of finding derivative. Both are same. Okay. So, derivative of x cube he asks. He does not ask using first principle. Simply what he asks, find the derivative of x cube. So, what we use? We use this formula. So, according to this formula, y is equal to x to the power n, dy by dx is what? n into x to the power n minus 1. Okay. So, dy by dx, 
3 into x to the power 3 minus 1. 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1. Just 3 into x square. 3 into x square. If simply he asked the derivative, derivative, we use this formula. Suppose he asks, find the derivative of x cube using first principle method. First principle method. We don't want to refer this one. We solve by using this concept. Got my point? Suppose one more problem. One more problem. Find the derivative of. See, this is a general formula. If you know very well, because it is very important. You also to practice. If y is equal to x to the power n, remember dy by dx is what? n into x to the power n minus 1. It is a very well, very, very important. Suppose y is equal to mm, x to the power 4, I take 1 by 1. y is equal to x to the power 4. What he asks? Just simply ask find the derivative, find the derivative, so dy by dx, 4 into x to the power 4 minus 1, 4 into x cube, 4 into x cube, I think you perfect, so if you know this formula, we can find any type of problems. Suppose if I want y is equal to y is equal to mm, x to the power 100. Find the derivative of x to the power 100. Derivative of x to the power 100. Then dy by dx. 100 into x to the power 100 minus 1. 100 into x to the power 100 minus 1. Then that is equal to 100 into x to the power what? 99. Correct. So we will solve some more problems. Because this first we perfect this one. Then we will see another formula. One by one very slowly we have to perfect because this chapter is very very important chapter. If you know very well this chapter, it is very easy, the mathematics. Okay, so y is equal to x to the power 100 over. Suppose I take one more, um, one more value. y is equal to um, x to the power minus 3. I take this one. x to the power minus 3. Find the derivative. Means dy by dx or else f dash of x. Both are same. So, dy by dx minus 3 into x to the power minus 3 minus 1. Minus 3 into x to the power minus 3 minus 1. Minus 4. The derivative of x to the power minus 3 into x to the power minus 4. Suppose I want y is equal to x to the power minus a tan. x to the power minus a tan. y is equal to x to the power minus a tan. dy by dx. <coughs> minus a tan into x to the power minus a tan minus 1. Correct. Minus a tan into x to the power minus a tan minus 1. Minus 10 into x to the power minus 11. Minus 10 into x to the power what? Minus 11. Understand? So, that means if you perfect this formula, you can solve any type of problems. Any type of problems. Derivative of, once again I explain, derivative of x to the power n, derivative of x to the power n is n into x to the power n minus 1 n into x to the power n minus 1. One more. 1 by x he want. Derivative of 1 by x. Derivative of 1 by x. Simply ask. Then how to solve this one sir? y is equal to, I shift the new denominator x 
to the numerator it becomes minus 1 x to the power what minus 1 again it is in the form of like this n is what minus 1 dy by dx minus 1 into x to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 into x to the power minus 2 if you want minus 1 by x bar derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 divided by what x bar 1 by x derivative is observe here 1 by x derivative is minus 1 divided by minus 1 divided by x bar so we solve one more problem y is equal to 1 divided by x bar find the derivative y is equal to 1 by x square means y is equal to x to the power what minus 2 so i shift x square from denominator to numerator power becomes negative area of indices so then we find the derivative dy by dx dy by dx n is what minus 2 minus 2 into x to the power minus 2 minus 1 Minus two into x to the power minus two minus one, so minus two into x to the power minus three r minus two divided by if you want x cube minus two divided by x cube. Some more problems we saw. Minus two divided by minus two divided by what x cube? Some more problems. Y is equal to y is equal to. 1 divided by x to the power 10 i want 1 divided by x to the power 10 i want y is equal to 1 divided by x to the power 10 what we do y is equal to x to the power minus 10 first i shift x to the power 10 from denominator to the numerator x to the power minus 10 then we find dy by dx dy by dx using this formula minus 10 into <coughs> x to the power minus 10 minus 1 minus 10 into x to the power minus 11 minus 10 by x to the power x to the power what 11 minus 10 divided by x to the power what x to the power 11 suppose i want to one more y is equal to y is equal to root x y is equal to square root of x see observe here square root of x very interesting problem root x so this i can return as y is equal to x to the power half both are same root x means x to the power x to the power of half the by theory of indices then n is what n is half n is half dy by dx dy by dx is half into x to the power half minus 1 correct n into x to the power n minus 1 so that is equal to half into x to the power if i take 2 is the lcm 1 minus 2 minus half 1 minus 2 minus half So that we can return as one divided by two into x to the power half. Correct. One divided by two into one divided by two into x to the power half. That we return as one by two into root x. So derivative of root x. One by two root x. Derivative of root x. Derivative of root x. One divided by one divided by what? Two root x. So. x root x similarly we solve some more problems
some more problems we solve regarding this one y is equal to <coughs> root x is over y is equal to um, cube root of x y is equal to cube root of x then theory of indices x to the power 1 by 3 x to the power 1 by 3 then so n is what 1 by 3 minus 1 1 by 3 into x to the power 1 by 3 minus 1 1 by 3 into x to the power if I take LCM 3 1 minus 3 minus 2 by 3 correct if I shift to denominator 2 by 3 if you, if you want in the third forum 3 into cube root of x square 3 into cube root of x square okay so one more problem y is equal to 1 by root x y is equal to what 1 divided by 1 divided by root x then how to solve this one sir so y is equal to 1 divided by x to the power half correct 1 divided by x to the power half this is the first step I shift x to the power of from denominator to numerator it becomes x to the power of what minus half y is equal to x to the power of minus half n is what n is minus half n is minus half dy by dx now we are finding derivative minus half into x to the power minus half minus 1 minus half into x to the power minus of minus 1 minus half into x to the power both are minus minus 3 by 2 correct minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 by 2 I shift denominator minus 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 ok if you want in search forum minus square root of x cube square root of what x cube y is equal to 1 by root x d over dx what 1 minus 1 divided by 2 into square root of x cube suppose we want we solve one more problem root x is over y is equal to mm, square root of x cube y is equal to square root of x cube then how to solve this one sir so I write in the indices form x to the power what 3 by 2 y is equal to x to the power x to the power what 3 by 2 so n is what n is 3 by 2 then dy by dx 3 by 2 x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 correct 3 by 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 x to the power 2 is the LCM 3 minus 2 3 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 3 by 2 into root x 3 into root x by 2 3 into root x by 2 suppose I solve one more problem y is equal to 1 by cube root of x y is equal to 1 divided by cube root of x y is equal to 1 by cube root of x so we write in the third form sorry indices form it is in the third form x to the power 1 by 3 I shift x to the power 1 by 3 from numer denominator to numerator x to the power 
what minus 1 by 3 now we find dy by dx minus 1 minus 1 by 3 a to the power minus 1 by 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 by 3 minus 1 by 3 x to the power what minus 4 by 3 if you want in third form write it in the third form cube root of cube root of what x to the power 4 cube root of x to the power 4 One more problem, y is equal to 1 by x to the power 55, suppose like this, y is equal to x to the power minus 55, x to the power minus 55. or else if I do uh, x to the power 56. I think you perfect about how to solve in the form of x to the power n, how to find the derivative, you are perfecting about the concept, okay, how to find the derivative in the form of x to the power n, simply y is equal to x to the power n dy by dx is what n into x to the power n minus 1. We solve, we solve one more formula, okay. First formula is over. We take one more formula by using first principle. Second formula, f of x is equal to k. constant function very important that means now we are finding now we are finding what the derivative of a constant understand the derivative of a constant so here x is not present but in plus f of x plus h is also k wherever x put x plus h but k is only present, f of x plus h is also k. So, we know that <coughs> f dash of x divided by h, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. h tends to 0. f of x plus h is what k? minus k divided by h. k, k get cancelled. 0 by h it is 0 that in class right here. Limit h tends to 0. 0 answer is 0. See what, what will be the conclusion, very very important, derivative of a constant function is 0, very very important. So that means, that implies, you remember this one, the derivative, derivative of a 
कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन डाराइल टू ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन इज जीरो The derivative, remember, second formula, very important. The derivative of a constant function. If the function is constant, if the function is constant, the derivative is zero. For example, y is equal to two. Directly we write d over dx is zero because two is a constant. Y is equal to minus one by two. y is equal to minus 1 by 2 dy by dx dy by dx is 0 understand suppose y is equal to sin a a is a constant sin a a is a constant dy by dx answer is 0 a is a constant dy by dx is 0 suppose uh, y is equal to 2 cube we cannot write text to the power n formula because 2 cube is a constant So dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to zero. Overall, what we observed, very important this result, very 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 important this result. Derivative, derivative of a what? Constant function. Derivative of a constant function is always zero. Remember, it's a very important. If the function is constant. If the function is constant, the derivative of the constant function is zero. That's why. See, observe. We already proved. K K get cancelled. Zero by H is zero. Limit H is zero. Answer is zero. Answer is zero. So today we discuss two formulas. If y is equal to x to the power y, correct? Y is equal to x to the power n dy by dx. n into x to the power n minus one. We solve very 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 important concept. Plenty of problems we solved regarding this formula. And second formula, remember this one also. The derivative of a constant function. The derivative of a constant function is always zero. The derivative of a constant function is always zero. Up to this, we stop. We continue the remaining formulas in the next class. Thank you.